Earlier this morning on this Saturday, the 18th, I showed you what metal worked on what bosses, the metal blade on this game. So now I'll kind of show you what Crash works on. It's about as effective as metal. Works on Quick Man somewhat. And it also works on Flash Man. I can hit him with it. And I'll show you how it works on Dr. Wily's ship here in a bit. After I get done with all this crap again. Without the air gun, Crash Man can be a real bitch, as you can see. One shot on Metal Man. You're wondering how I got some crash left. That's because I blew out all those blocks around that boss before this stage, and then I died, collected enough power-ups to get my crash back, so I can do this. Not much gain, but still kind of makes it more fun, more interesting to kill the robots with other weapons instead of the same ones all the time, you know. Something different. Plus well, we saved on energy tanks. This guy can be a real pain in the ass, as he saw me earlier against him. Thank <laughs> you. 
If I wouldn't have done that, I probably would have been dead. Or not. <laughs> And that's it for Mega Man 2 for today. Just thought maybe you'd like to watch the ending if you haven't seen it already. Hard to believe I've been playing this game for at least three decades. Back in the late 80s, throughout the 90s, throughout the 2000s, and now again in 2021. These old games still kick ass, like this one, The Legend of Zelda, Metroid, Kid Icarus. I don't know why it does this, but my computer goes black like that every so often. Probably a safety feature, but anyway. Some more Nintendo games that are classics, like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Excite Bite, Castlevania, the list goes on. Donkey Kong. If you ever played Milan's Secret Castle, you have to wonder what what they were smoking, what they were tripping on when they made that game. If it wasn't for the Game Genie, there was no way in hell I'd be able to beat that game. It's that freaking hard. Especially, especially on your way to that in the well and getting the lantern and the saw. That's like the hardest Nintendo game I ever played. That in the first Castlevania game. And Rambo. That too is a bitch. Rambo. About time for new camera battery. This one's getting low again, and I charged up earlier after my first video. And that's the fun thing about going back and playing these old games. You kind of learn something new every time. Like what weapons work better on what guys and stuff like that. And besides, I thought I'd give myself a break from playing Sim City all the time. That game does not want to cooperate with me at all. I still think Mega Man 3 is the hardest one on Nintendo. Not only you have to fight all those robots, plus you have to fight all of these again too. On four stages like Gemini Man stage and Spark Man stage, Shadow Man stage, Needle Man stage. That's a real pain in the ass. I still remember going shopping at Target at the mall back in the 88-89 Mega Man 2 was in that top shelf in the cabinet on the top rack for like 50 bucks back in the day I always thought mommy would you please buy me that I wanted that game so bad but never got to it but I did buy Ivan Stewart Super Off-Road and all kinds of fun games like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and Rambo and Kung Fu. Forgot about that one. You remember the four-stage boss, Big N-Word Jim. 